Hey, this is Dave at HouseBurns.com. Today we're going to show you our Emporia View Smart Home Energy Monitor. Really interesting tool uh, that we're trying to track all of our electricity usage. Uh, this is just a regular house. We don't have solar, which you could certainly use this for, but we have some electrical devices and some circuits in our house that we'd like to keep track of. And so this is just a tool. And we'll show you how we use it. First, we'll show you the setup, and then we'll go ahead and show you the app and how you can monitor all your energy use. Uh, throughout your house with just this simple little tool. For example, just look how sensitive this is. We're running about 5,000 watts right now. And if you look at kitchen lighting, so I go ahead and turn off the light. And just like that, the monitor for kitchen lighting goes from 20 some watts down to zero. Pretty slick. We got one to track eight circuits. It's gonna track it in real time, send it to my phone and give me a continuous update on what circuit's using how much energy and the performance of it. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, if, if you don't know anything about electricity, have an electrician do this, because uh, this could can be very dangerous. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the cover off the electrical panel. All right, so the first one is to mount the antenna. All right, just so happens that uh, I took this cover off that plate right there, and there's just a cavity. And I'm going to pop out that knockout right there. And that will allow us to put the antenna of the monitor through that through that hole. So the monitor will, the monitor is going to sit right here. We'll put the antenna wire through there. And this portion right there will sit inside that space, which is almost custom made for it. They said it's okay to put the antenna inside the wall. All right, so I'm gonna feed it up through this hole here. Feed it up through here. And this has a, a, a plug for that hole. Okay, got that that's inserted in there. Now we can go ahead and uh, connect the antenna to the monitor. I bought this on Amazon. We'll have a, an affiliate link in the description below the video if you're looking for something like this. And that's where that's gonna go. Perf. Now, next part, we're gonna put the big cable, big uh, 200 amp clamps on, or sensors on the, on the mains. These mains are always live. Even if you turn off the main power, these are coming in from the street. You can't turn them off unless you uh, call the electric company or have an electrician do it, which is really the best way to do it. Okay, so you can see we've got it all set up there. And this is uh, an electrical box intensive kind of setup. Uh, it's best if you just go ahead and have an electrician do this. Electricity can kill. And it's just one of those things you don't need to mess with, especially if you're not familiar with it. But after an electrician goes and pops this in, it's it won't take them it won't take them a half hour. As soon as the last clip is on, you're ready to go to your app and start using it. But let me just show you kind of how it, how it all works. Basically, you have your two main sensors up there. They check the power that's coming into your uh, electric panel, and then all these are your individual circuits. And we have chosen different circuits to monitor the, according to how much power they use or how important they are in house. Like for example, we've got one that's on the sump pump. And part of the reason I want to monitor the sump pump is to make sure that after a rainstorm it's running, it's not quitting. Well, in the past we've had a sump pump quit and this energy monitor would tell us, hey, the sump pump's not running and you just had a rainfall, something's not right. So that's one way and I can check this whether I'm here in the house or across town or across the country. Uh, so long as I have my smartphone with me, which is really cool. So we've got the two main, two main sensors for power in, and then each of these monitor just one circuit on the house. And you could unclip these and put them on a different circuit, uh, which we're going to do later on because some of these circuits we found out aren't really that busy and they don't really need that much monitoring. So we're going to kind of juggle it around to just get the circuits that we want to take, uh, to keep track of and don't go from there. 
The antenna is in this access hole, comes up through here, and it's just looking for Wi-Fi. Emporia gives you really good directions to walk you through how this is all set up. But again, it's the best electrician goes and does all the actual connecting. It's quite a jumble of wires. When you look at it, it's really ridiculous almost. Uh, we're going to straighten out these wires if we uh, tied them up like this. Ultimately, the two main sensors and all the circuit sensors are plugged into this device. This device will sit inside the panel. We'll put the panel cover back on and it's good to go. Emporia gives you all the stuff you need, including your wiring harness, some extra pigtails for wiring uh, to give this unit power. Everything was in here and the directions are, are pretty straightforward. Now, once it's all hooked up and ready to go, we can go ahead and look at our app and see exactly what's going on at this panel in real time from the seconds to minutes to days to weeks, months to years. It's really full of information. So uh, let me show you that. Right when you open up the app, you can see all your circuits that are being monitored at present and what's the most active. You can see these bottom four here are not even not even running, not even have, using residual power. And then these are using, like the, the AC condenser of the heat pump has a circuit board on it, so it's using a, some small amount of residual power. Same with the fridge. Great room, probably just some lights on, and the garage has a freezer in it and some lights on out there. So not a lot of usage in, in total. You can count those little numbers up. Uh, but you can see the percentage use at this point in time, which right now is a second. Um, so there, right there in your opening screen, you get so much information. And then you could do it by the minute, by the hour, by the day, week, etc. If you like graphs, you can graph the, you can check out the graph in seconds, minutes, hours, days, however you like to, to do that. And this is the main view. This is our main power usage for everything. Back to home, and let's say we want to look at the fridge, and there you can see it's, you know, by the second. Right now, it's almost no power usage. You can go back in time, and there you can see where it was running and then turned off, and then by the minute, by the hour, by the day. Again, lots of information. There's other ways to use energy management feature, monitor your usage according to peak demand. Uh, savings opportunities. If you go to the top menu bar here and click on notifications, you can have different alerts that come and they give you these standard ones. Your energy usage suddenly jumps or falls uh, or they detect uh, a mechanical issue because of how it's the amount of electricity it's using, you get an alert if you program it. You gotta sit there and click that on. Uh, same thing with unusual consumption. You can also click this and if your Emporia goes offline for any reason, you'll get an alert. And I wasn't seeing the AC condenser pop up and it was only showing seven rather than eight circuits being monitored. So I did a live chat and again, their customer service is amazing. Uh, that live chat works really well. I've talked to them twice and they've found my issue. One of my, the cord, the uh, sensor plugged into the port monitor, the monitor port uh, had just come a little bit loose as I was doing this filming. And, and so I just had to go back and plug it back in and it, it, it came back up on my home screen. So once you see all those circuits there, you're, then you, you know they're all being monitored. And if any one of those is off, then there's a connection wrong or a defective port or something like that. Here's the, the main menu and they have uh, device controls for thermosets, smart plugs, EV chargers, electric vehicles, all kinds of different opportunities, in including exporting raw data to a CSV file. And that way you can go ahead and crunch some numbers if, uh, if it's something that you know, really floats your boat. So it's turned out to be a, a useful tool for us. And if monitoring your home energy usage is important to you, this is a tool to get. Hope this video helps. If anything you have, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We've got lots more videos coming. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.